In this video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make a near infinite ramp like the one here. Stay tuned. A new Discord of events, updates, and more linked in the description and comments below. Hello everybody, Crush the Callan here and today I'm playing Ark Survival Vault and in this episode I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the massive ramp that you guys saw in the intro so let's get into it. So you'll need pillars and ramps, lots of pillars and ramps depending on how high you need to go. You'll need a couple of foundations and probably 10 or so ceilings depending on how far you go again. Um, so start off with your first foundation, it can be made of anything. Um, the material does not matter. Obviously metal ramps will be more durable than that than wood, but I tend to just go with wood anyway. So you want to start, you want to have like a pretty flat area. Now this isn't particularly flat, but it works well enough. You want more of an incline than a like a slope going downwards. It's easier to build across if you've got an incline than a slope, and flat will always be the easiest. So we're going to start here where there's a slight incline so I can fit my ramp down. If I were to do it over here on completely flat land, I'm going to have trouble getting the ramp down. So you want the ramp to be facing where you're trying to go. So I'm trying to get up there, my ramp's going to face that way. And now I can extend the ramp up four. That is as far as I can go without needing foundation support. This is where the pillars come in. So you see you got the foundation here. This is where I'm going. So from the front of the foundation, you want the furthest snap out. It's not the one on the foundation like this, but the furthest one. And then that snap there actually lets me place another ramp. This was obstructed just before. Now I can place it. And then you move along with pillars as far as you can go. So as you can see, every pillar that I add is an extra ramp that I can go higher. So the more pillars, the more ramps, the higher I can go. Now, you may encounter an issue like this where you cannot place ramps because they are too low. That's a pretty simple and easy fix. Place another pillar place a ceiling, place the ceiling across, place a pillar, and then you'll see that you can place a ramp. And you should, if all goes well, just be able to continue the pillars along. So as you can see, the ceilings have basically taken the lowered pillars here, brought them up, and then snapped them down back onto the ground again. And so as you can see, I'll be able to keep going up. And then you just go pillars and pillars and pillars along depending on how high you want to go. So I'm just going to extend this out a little bit more just to prove just how far you guys can go with this. So as you can see, obstructed again, pillar up, ceiling, ceiling across, pillar down, pillars again. And it's as simple as that. And I should have enough room here to extend as far as I can up. And so as you can see, I'm going up. Now, I've encountered a rock or something in the way. Normally you'd plan ahead not to do this, but there is a way you can get around it. So, what you can actually do is you can place another foundation at the start, another ramp at the start, and the pillars that you have already placed will actually support these ramps that you're placing off to the side. So you can go one off to the left or one off to the right on either side of where you've started your pillars. And as you can see, I'll be able to keep going up. Now, I require foundation support. Now, I'm not sure here if I can just keep going forwards or if I'll have to take it across. It depends on the situation that you encounter. I might be able to just extend it out like this and it might give me more room. We'll just go up and see. Yes, so I can keep going in the straight line. Which doesn't really make any sense because technically I've deviated from the one line that I'm making. But apparently it works. And so you can just keep going along and extend it out further and further. And as you can see here, I'm getting up very close to the base. They'd have a turret wall right here, and I can go up with my stego and start soaking. So that is where this method really excels. Now, you can also, if a ramp gets damaged, you can replace it, and it will not destroy the rest of the ramp. As long as you do not demolish one of the bottom ones, then you'll be fine. So I can take this one here, replace it, and the whole thing still stays up. Um, but yeah, so that is how you build just about infinite ramps in art. And this saves you the cost of building hundreds of pillars going up and giving you foundation support. Somehow, snapping them to the foundation at the bottom gives you all this extra room here. You can just imagine how high I'd have to go up here to get up to there. It's a big waste of materials and this really is the best, me best method. Um, but yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. And if you've got any feedback, put it in the comment section down below and hopefully 
I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.